if an alien will come down to this world, and you ask this alien, what's a bigger miracle? The splitting of the sea or the birth of a baby? What do you think the alien is going to say? I want your honest opinion. The baby? Or the sea? So raise your hand if you say it will be C. Okay? And raise your hand if you say it will be the baby. Raise your hand if you don't think. <laughs> so it sounds like a lot of you said it's probably going to be the splitting of the sea. And some of you thought maybe it's going to, it is going to be the birth of a baby. And I'll tell you why we would think the splitting of the sea, because the splitting of the sea is not a natural occurrence. It happens once thousands of years ago. But babies are born every single day, so we get used to it. But guess what? If babies would be born once every few thousand years, and the splitting of the sea would occur every single day, and we'll find some scientific explanation to it, we're going to say, of course the baby is a bigger miracle than the splitting of the sea. The problem, the problem is we get so used to nature, and then we take it for granted, and then we don't appreciate it anymore. But our job is to try to not take it for granted, try to see Hashem behind the nature. What causes the 707 train to arrive at the station every single day at 707? There are hundreds of people who are managing it. The conductor has to wake up every single day at a certain time. He has to make sure to get to the train station. He has to make sure to get the train to the station. And if he comes a minute late, 7.08, people are complaining what's going on. I have to get to work. It has to be 7.07. Now, if the train will come 7.07 one day, the next day comes at 10 o'clock, and the next day comes at 4.30 in the morning, obviously no one's managing it. It's just happenstance. It's just a roll of dice. Sometimes it comes at this time, sometimes it's coming at that time. That shows there's no one behind it. But if it's coming every single day at 7, uh, 7, uh, 707, that shows that must be somebody is running the show. It must be someone's behind it. We watch the sun rise every single morning. And we watch the sun set every single evening. Does that show us that someone's managing it? Because if this was just randomness, then the sun shouldn't be getting up every single day at a certain time and setting at a certain time. Then it should be that it should be random times. Because something that's random will happen one time. It doesn't have a cycle Yet, for somehow, somehow, for some reason, we find all throughout nature harmoniously that this world, the universe is so fine-tuned. Everything is working together. The galaxies don't crash into each other. Somehow, everything is just running smoothly. And the sun wakes up every day at a certain time. The problem is there's predictability. Predictability means we could predict. We could predict the weather patterns. We could predict the time the sun is going to rise, the time the sun is going to set. We could predict the eclipse. We could predict a lot of things, so we think that if we could predict it, so we get used to it, so it's just natural. It's supposed to be this way. But the truth is, if something has an order, it must be someone's managing it, just like someone has to be managing the 707 train. Because somebody has to make sure to get it to that stop every single day. Who's making sure the sun rises every single day at a certain time and sets at a certain time? It has to be Hashem. And when you look at nature, ironically, we take it for granted and we say, ah, it must be just nature. But that should be what should convince you there's a God. Because randomness does not have an order. Randomness doesn't have a, a cycle. It doesn't have a system. Here there's clearly a system. It has to be someone's managing it.